people, we are back in business here at the Civil Data Question Center to see what their plans was, cause we didn't get to know about that until the next day. So, let's see now, Tyra! The shepherd, Landon, outside Silverglade Village has bought a head heed herding dog. His name is Techno and he is the big brother of the dog Disco who lives in Silverglade Village. Maybe you've seen him? Anyway, it turned out that Techno was more of a watchdog than a herding dog. Landon will let us take Techno and use him as a watchdog outside their riding arena. This is a perfect solution both for us and for the dog. And I promise that no one will vandalize the riding arena when Techno is watching over it. Landon said that Techno is ready to be picked up today. Maybe you can ride over there and get our new watchdog? Of course we can! Doggy! We're coming to get you! Yes, yes, yes! Coming to get Doggy! Are you shocked? I'm drinking coffee again. Yes, I am. Sorry. I do have to drink anyway because of all the voices, but yeah, I, I want a coffee. Coffee, coffee, coffee. Anyway, so yes, we're getting uh, techno. Uh, I've been doing some research because uh, since it was a while since I did these quests, I don't really remember how long they are. And so I did some research uh, with some other YouTubers who have done the this, who are doing this let's play. And uh, turns out these quests that is made to make us move forward in the story are quite short. They're so short. So annoying, so you really have to plan it so that you don't stand there like after like nine minutes of episode and like, okay, what are we gonna do now? Um, but yeah, I, I think I have a solution. I just don't know what I'm gonna do the next day, but I'll take that when it's time. So there is Techno. Hello, doggy. I heard that you were coming over. This is Techno. Say hello to Rose, Techno. Is he watching the rabbits? <laughs> it's very disappointing that this has happened. It w I will miss Techno, but he is not happy as a herding dog, and I'm sure that he will be much better off what with you. I will come and visit him sometime, if it's okay. He is such a nice dog, I think you can carry him on your backpack. In your backpack. Take Techno and ride back to Tyra. Um. Okay, so he is apparently in my backpack, even though we can't see that at the moment. But he is in my backpack. So yeah, I reached like a quite little dilemma here. Uh, first, I want to tell you the spirit qu spirit episode I was talking about ain't gonna happen. Uh, I was starting, and then I was like, no, it just no, I couldn't get it going. And then I was like, it doesn't really matter because spirit for it's just like one part it's basically like one of those quests that returns once a year uh, it doesn't really have to do anything with the story or the gameplay in any way he's just this fun little thing to have by beside and so i felt like no i want to focus on the story quest so i decided i'm not going to record them i'm just going to do the quest on the side uh, on the, the on the outside off camera basically so i'm going to remove that yellow thing but yes, uh, let's see, now we're here! Yay! Oh, he is adorable! And he looks like a perfect watchdog! Yes, I know. Would you like to go with Techno to the riding stables? I, I have a bag with dog, dog treats here, and if you give him some from the, from time to time, I think he will follow you. Come back here later, I want you to help me build a dog house for Techno. Okay, so, uh, Techno... There you are. Let's go, Techno, down to the riding hall, to your new mission. No, that's a way to go, yep. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, uh, also, while we're doing this, uh, as you can see, <laughs> not that many <laughs> quests. I, well, I have been stupid when I was thinking about, come on, keep it going. Um, uh, when I did all the quests, because now I'm sort of in what you would say, like a bottleneck. Like, I have to move forward with these quests to get into the uh, Golden Leaf Valley. Oh my god, waking up. Uh, and uh, since they are so short, like the other thing I have in the beside that is medicine quest, and we will of course continue that. And I also have uh, some small stuff to do in the Dino Valley, but that is also ending quite soon, so really need to get going with these <laughs> so we, so I don't stand here like oh I have nothing to do 
Hmm. So, yeah, people, because uh, I've been reading some people seem to be like, oh, I don't get any quests or anything like that. Well, you have to do the reputation stuff, and uh, some quests just has to be done to move forward in the gameplay. <laughs> um, I've just forgotten and focused on other stuff. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, I have a bit of an issue. I will solve it. Hopefully the episode won't be so weird. Uh, I'm really hoping that. Uh, oh god. Yeah. Let's see. Mm. We'll see. Mm. Doggy doggy dog. Doggy doggy dog. Whoop. Don't step on doggy. Whoop. Uh, Woof. Woof. He said woof. Da -da -da -da. Here is your new castle or whatever you should call it like it's yours basically protect it bite anyone who's come here and to vandalize it but don't bite horses or other girls who just want to be here please just be kind just bark if anyone comes to do anything bad okay oh you're so cute such a cute doggy anyway let's go out <laughs> I've been working on uh, the archaeology in the Dino Valley. I realize how much I've actually missed the archaeology in the Dino Valley. I, I don't know why. In the future, we will do it again in another area, but that one, I don't know. I just didn't get the feeling of just wanting to run around and do archaeology in that area like I do in the Dino Valley. Uh, maybe because I have a route in the Dino Valley that I don't have uh, in that other area that we'll have in the future. But anyway, yeah. Let's see. Hi! So how is it going? Good, but I'm sure that he will feel more at home if he gets a house of his own. As I said, people, these are shorts. So annoying. Can't do anything in one day. But anyway, we are heading to the Dino Valley. I'll see you there very soon. So we are now back in the Dino Valley. And I ran into a rock. That is just typical me for doing two things at once. Uh, we are back in the Dino Valley um, to hopefully do some of the last things we get to do. Yes, yeah, you remember, we were trying to fix the balloon. Hmm, Rose, I believe our hot air balloon repair project may well be doomed to failure. Just look at this, the final is a piece of fabric that's usable, usable, and we're miles away from the sewing be being finished. It's probably just as well that we abandoned the whole thing. Thanks for helping so far, Rose, but this is the end. Perhaps we'll see each other again in the future. What? What? You want to give it another go? Why don't? I can't see from here that the fabric is just like a big tablecloth and it's not even close to being spherical. You have soon the edges together, you say. Ah, I got it! You need to sew together the edges to sew that the balloon takes shape of, of what I call a bag. A potential spheric unit that can be filled with gas is uh, obvious. That, that's what you meant. Mm, that's possible, but you express yourself rather vaguely. You hypothesis an irref irrefutable theory, one of the greatest crimes against scientific etiquette. Who will ever understand you if you continue to communicate with such an imprecise, imprecise ambiguity? Anyway, enough now. Well, here's the last piece of the fabric. Use it to sew the balloon together. Okie dokie. Hmm. Let's try this. Let's make a balloon, people. Do -do -do. Ba -ba -ba. It's a weird sound of sewing. Sewing is a rather quiet uh, hobby. What I, what I know, I don't sew. <laughs> Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. Everything is in place. Ah, oh, you can stand there. Okay. Great! Then we got a whole balloon. Okay, I'm not getting her voice again. Ugh! Come on. 
Repairing the burn rose, here's the last part we haven't tried yet. Since there aren't any other parts out there in the valley, this must be, by the lo laws of logic, the right part. <laughs> Trust the tech teachings of probability, Rose. There's no need for finger crossing or any other such a nonsense. Just install this part in the burner and it's fixed. Okay. Really not getting her voice, that is so annoying. Sometimes I just have those days and it's awful. It fits! Oh my god! We're doing it, people! There we go, Rose. Wasn't that easy? So here we are, Rose. The final pieces of the puzzle. I've got these pieces together and if my calculations are to get correct, then the basket should be fully repaired when you are you've added them. So let's see if my theory works out. Hurry up! It's not getting it. It's so annoying. Anyway, let's fix the basket. There's some snow on it, but yeah, sure. It's probably fine. Mm, the last one. <gasps> oh my god, the balloon is fixed! We have a balloon, people! We have a balloon. Let's take off. There we go. My theory was correct. We finally got the final stage of our hot air balloon repair project. We're close now, Rose. Just one small step to go before we can leave this terrible place behind us uh, in our beautiful balloon. Now, I understand how my colleagues on the Apollo... Apollo project that NASA felt when it was time to launch. Here's, can here's a canister filled with the gas you collected from the geysers. You s just need to co connect it to the torch and light it up. Then we're ready. I'll just stand myself over here and take cover behind the bench. There's nothing to worry about, but if probability is against us, it's unnecessary that we both perish in the burning inferno. You're so kind, Professor. You're so kind. Uh, let's see now. Uh, do, 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 do. Okay. Ba -ba -ba -ba, and then squish. <gasps> Look! It's up. It, oh, and I'm standing right over it. And oh, there is. Uh, it's actually stuck in the tree. But n <laughs> no matter in that. <laughs> Well, that went well. I never thought I'd be so happy to see such a primitive co contraption work. Hmm, I'm a little unsure if the structure going to hold rows. Obviously, it's very unlikely that the rope would snap when the balloon is a few hundred feet in the air, but just like before, it feels unnecessary for us both to go up and potentially perish in a tragic balloon crash. The logical thing to do is that you take a t test flight and see to it that everything is working properly. Rose, take a test flight to Silverglade Village and back, then I can fly secure in the knowledge that the balloon is safe. And we're... okay. Let's go for a test drive, okay. And for some weird reason we can go with horses! Oh, it flies gently, how wonderful. And we can go back. Whee! This is so much fun! Now we don't have to run all the way from the village again! I can just take the balloon! <laughs> but then again you have to run to the balloon! Oh well. I guess it's, it's still better than running from the Looks like the test flight went well. However, while you were away, I carried out a little psychoanalysis on myself and have concluded that without long-term therapy, an air journey is simply impossible for me. Oh, you're afraid of heights. The helicopter crash has given me some issues in staying above the ground, and I'll obviously develop a logical and scientific method of remedying remedying this, but until then I'm forced to stay here. Sorry. Rose, you're free to use the balloon whenever you want to travel between Silverglade Village and this cursed primitive valley. Now you'll have to excuse me, I need to devote all my capacities to finding a cure for my newfound fear of heights. And we got some... 
lovely gloves that we can't still see quite well in here, but I do know I have a hat that fits. Yay! Um, so, um, great. Yeah, I'm stuck with this greatness. Anyway, uh, in the next episode, we're continuing with Madison. Let's see if she has returned home to the South Hoof. Uh, I highly doubt it. But in the meantime, people, stay awesome, as always. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!